All right, we talked about the importance of focusing on a few important OKRs. We talked about collaboratively, collaboratively cascading OKRs throughout the organization for vertical and horizontal alignment. We talked about making OKRs transparent for vertical and horizontal alignment. Uh, we talked about making OKRs ambitious. Next, we're gonna talk about uh, the importance of periodically assessing and revising our OKRs. Uh, you want to constantly check in and see where you are with OKRs. Uh, are we getting close to our goal? Are we really far away? Are we going to make it or not? Is this still a relevant OKR or not? Um, if you're in the 70 to 100% range on your OKRs, that's great, man. If, you're, if, it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you're in the 40 to 70% range on your OKRs, the question is how can we get back on track before the end of the cycle to make sure that we can hit it? And then lastly, if you're um, at less than 40% of where you should be uh, on your OKR during this cycle, you might want to consider dropping it. Is it worth continuing to put resource? Is this OKR important enough where we should continue to put resources into it? Or are we maybe not putting resources into it because it's not really that important or relevant of an OKR? Remember that goals are the servant to purpose and not the other way around. So another reason we periodically check in and revise OKRs is to ask, we, we set this OKR two weeks ago, four weeks ago, six weeks ago. Is it still relevant? Is it still meaningful? We do not complete OKRs for the sake of completing OKRs. The purpose of an OKR is to help the organization. So if an OKR is no longer relevant to that, then we should drop it. We should get rid of it. We have talked about the uh, importance of focusing on a few uh, OKRs. We've talked about collaborat collaboratively cascading OKRs throughout the organization. We've talked about making our OKRs transparent, making them ambitious. And we've talked about the importance of periodically assessing and revising our OKRs. And then lastly, we'll talk about, and this is one of the most important aspects of an OKR system, is to reflect on performance after each cycle. So after our OKR cycle is done, uh, we want to take time to sit down and reflect back on our OKRs. What did we do well? What did we not do well? Uh, did we choose the correct OKRs to pursue in the first place? Did we pursue them well enough? What could we do? What, what could have we done better? And what can we do better going forward? And there's this John Dewey quote that I love that's... Um, we do not learn from experience. We, we learn from reflecting on experience. And sometimes, you know, in organizations, everything is at such a fast pace and they expect so much from employees. And we rarely take a minute to stop and reflect on how we're doing and what we could be doing better. And so a very important part of the OKR cycle is to take that time at the end of each OKR cycle and reflect on our performance to guide our OKRs for the next cycle. It's really important to note that OKR evaluations are formative, not summative. What does that mean? That means that OKR evaluations are used to help people grow and develop and learn. They are not used to reward or punish people with uh, bonuses or promotions or raises or uh, firing people or demoting them, that they are inherently developmental, not um, uh, where you're, you're assessing people and uh, rewarding or punishing them. They're inherently developmental. Remember, a lot of our objectives are gonna be aspirational objectives where we're supposed to stretch, where we're supposed to fail half of the time. And so if you, on the one hand, ask people to set aspirational goals, and then on the other hand, punish them for failure, they're gonna start uh, setting easier and easier goals for themselves because it's really important they make their goals or else they're gonna be punished. Um, and so if you expect people to set as aspirational goals, you have to look at the um, evaluation of their performance. You have to look at that as an opportunity for growth and development, not for punishment. And these formative OKRs, they encourage risk-taking. Um, when people know they're not going to be punished for uh, setting really aspirational goals or being innovative about what they do or how they do it, that they can try new things uh, without fearing failure, that, that failure is not punished, it's encouraged, they'll take more risks, they'll be more innovative, they'll push themselves harder. 
You need to be really th thoughtful when assessing OKR performance, so take context into account. Uh, is this someone who set really easy goals for themselves and coasted? Uh, is this someone who set really difficult goals for themselves and uh, uh, didn't quite make it? Um, was there something that happened during the cycle that made a goal easier, more difficult to achieve? Uh, we don't just blankly look at goals, numbers on paper, and compare them uh, to performance. We need to take context into account when evaluating employee performance on OKRs. Okay, uh, today we talked about OKRs, which are essentially the systematic organizational-wide application of SMART goals um, that gets everyone in the organization aligned and working on the same priorities. The aspects of OKR systems, they need to, we need to focus on a few important OKRs. We need to collaboratively cascade OKRs down throughout the organization. We need to make OKRs transparent and ambitious. We need to periodically assess and revise our OKRs. And then lastly, we need to reflect on performance after each cycle because we do not learn from experience, we learn from reflecting on experience. It's really important to remember that OKRs, like every management intervention, are not a silver bullet. Uh, that they need, in, in order to work, they need to be implemented uh, intelligently, do judiciously, thoughtfully. Um, and that it often takes a long time to, to get it right, that you'll go through a few failed cycles of OKRs before the organization catches on. Uh, but it, it needs to match with the culture, uh, like every management intervention, um, and it needs to be put into place well, that an OKR system is not uh, a silver bullet, is not an easy fix, um, that like everything, it, it takes a lot of effort to develop um, a really good OKR system and to implement it and to get everyone on board. But when done well, OKRs are a man management methodology that ensures employees focus their efforts on the same important issues throughout the firm. Uh, and they can be very, very useful for that. Thank you for listening.